I can't stop playing in my hair. Hey guys, it's Shayna, and today I have a review for you. I'm going to be doing a review for the Irresistible Me 8-in-1 Curling Wand. This wand comes with eight different attachments. They're interchangeable. They come in this amazing rolled up bag situation, which is heat resistant. The wand itself heats up in 20 seconds, and it comes with this awesome heat resistant glove, which you can use for your right or left hand. Each one of the curling wands has a heat resistant tip so that you don't burn your fingers just in case you don't have the glove on, but I do suggest that you do keep the glove on. And it has this pretty cool little LED screen which changes colors and it definitely helps you to figure out um, what temperature it's on so you don't make a mistake and accidentally burn your hair out. Plus, it has an auto shut off feature which means that you will never have to wonder if you turned your curling iron off or not. So it comes with the 13 millimeter, the Pearl, the 13 over 25 millimeter, the 25 millimeter, the 32 millimeter, the 25 over 13 millimeter, the 19 millimeter, and the 18 over 9 millimeter. So basically, it's a bunch of different options that you have and it can be kind of overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to give you a quick little rundown to let you know how they work. So the 13 to 19 millimeter options, these wands will give you bigger volume since they're smaller it would have like mountains of curls. If you brush them out they'll it'll make it look more bigger and fuller. So think like Afro Puff. So the 25 millimeter barrel, this barrel size will give you very natural looking tight curls and it'll give you more dimension when you do updo. The 32 millimeter barrel, think those big beautiful bouncy beach waves. So reverse barrels will give you beachy waves, think like, think Farrah Fawcett, like that feathered out kind of look. The It'll have a little wave to it but it's more like feathered at the end. And finally, there's the pearl barrel. Now, this barrel is actually kind of cool because it will produce these unpredictable curls, kind of like your hair would do. For instance, my hair doesn't have just one curl pattern, and with this barrel, it will kind of create different curl patterns to make it look like your own natural curl. I tend to braid my hair before I use, uh, before I try to curl it because I have a lot of hair, so it helps when I braid my hair before I try to do any type of curling to it because it sections off my hair to make it easier and faster when I'm using the curly one. Since I am going to be using a heat styling tool, I'm going to use this Tresemme Thermal Creation that I picked up out of my local drugstore, which is a leave-in heat protector. This is a really good product for any type of hair because um, you can use it on wet or dry hair, straight, natural, curly, whatever type of hair you have. Um, it works. So we're going to spray a pretty liberal amount of this product onto my hair and I need to hold it about 6 to 8 inches away from my hair so that it can uh, evenly distribute and we'll just make it happen. And now that I have my heat protectant on, I'm going to go ahead and put on my thermal glove. So typically my hair needs a lot of heat in order for it to curl or uh, do anything really. So I'm starting off on 390. If your hair is really processed or really thin, you want to stay closer to the lower end of the heat spectrum. And if your hair is um, unprocessed and natural, you'll probably want to go higher. I'm starting kind of in the middle because I don't know what it's going to do and I don't want my hair to fall out. So I started with the back of my hair because I was kind of scared that my hair was probably going to fall out. And it curled my hair but it didn't really curl it the way I wanted it to be curled so I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit and I'm gonna turn it up to about 430 it goes up to 450 I'm gonna turn it up so that I can get the curl that I want I'm gonna start curling my hair from the center of my hair and um, just so that my hair will have more body and volume that way okay so the reverse barrel made a pretty decent kind of wave situation well I mean, you want to be very careful because this thing gets really really hot so you definitely always want to have a um, heat resistant glove on or something heat resistant protecting your skin because I felt the heat through the glove and it's pretty dang hot
So I'm gonna show you a close up of how I do it. All I'm gonna do is comb out my hair, add a generous amount of Tresemme Thermal Creation, wrap my hair around the barrel, and hold it on there for 10 seconds. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm gonna slide it off and pinch it in between my fingers until it gets cool. And then I'm going to release it. And it's gonna make this pretty cute, pretty amazing curl. All right, so now I have to cover up this part. So what I'm gonna do is um, just start taking my Y2 comb, or if you have a pick, that'll work as well. And I'm going to start moving some of my hair around to start covering up that part and to give my hair a little bit more body. You may have to gently pull some of the curls apart so that you can cover up that center part or when your hair is wet you can definitely braid your hair how you see fit so that you don't have to cover up a part. I just braid my hair in two because it's a lot easier for me to deal with my hair that way and it's a lot less time consuming. All right guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Go ahead and take 10% off when you use this code. Link is in the description box. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and come back so that we can do this all over again with one of the other barrels. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.